to everyone tuning back in. My name is Lily. I will be one of your hosts for this evening. And in a few, we will be talking to the beautiful Miss Brave Williams. There she is. Hi. Hi, beautiful. How are you? I'm amazing. How are you? I'm doing well. So welcome, everyone. We will be your host this evening. My name is Lily. And of course, this is the Next Level Podcast. We like to do this every Wednesday where we some of your favorite celebrities, people who are doing great community and today we have the beautiful Miss Grave Williams so welcome thank you for having me sis I appreciate it it's no problem you look beautiful I know how you've had a very busy day <laughs> <laughs> to say the least but it's good I'm loving the response that I'm getting from you know for the new song so I'm, I'm here for all the love yes okay so before we get into all of the questions we're going to play a quick icebreaker game okay. and this one is entitled, I would rather. So I will give you a scenario. You tell us which one you'd rather choose, okay? Okay. Okay, so the first one. We know you're a fitness guru, health guru. You're bomb at it. So would you rather work out on the beach or work out inside overlooking? On the beach. All okay. day. <laughs> sand and all. High sun, sand, all day. Get a great workout in with that. Okay, um, next, you've got into work in both TV, reality TV, and film. So would you rather have a movie based on your life or a TV series based on your life? Ooh, TV series. TV series, okay. Would you Absolutely. want to play yourself or are you a cat? Um, I think I would, I would be a character, but I would cast someone to play myself. Gotcha. Make a lot of sense. Okay. And then the last one, if you could only do one of these for the next year, would you rather sing or act? Ooh, that's tough. Um, you said for a year? Mm hmm So I can get back to the other one. <laughs> um, I'm going to say sing. Sing, okay. And why do you pick singing? Say it again. Why would you pick that? Um, it's where it all started. It all starts and stops with the music for me. Like, I, acting, I can't even say I started acting before I was singing, but singing is what garnered the attention for the bigger roles. So, um, yeah, it's 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 a, it's a, it's a love, it's an affinity for the both of them. But if it's just for a year, I'll put pause on one. Got you. Okay. Well, let's get to these questions because I know your fans are waiting. So first, tell us about your new single. Don't tell me no. The inspiration behind it. Yes. So don't tell me no. Um, it's basically, it's, for me, it's just, I wanted to give attention. A lot of times as women, we are the ones that take the fall for being, you know, the most vulnerable or we're scared, you know, to fall in love. But we never flip it on the other side and, and recognize that men feel the same way too. You know, like if they've gone through a breakup or gone through some bumps and bruises along the way. So it's almost like I wanted to tell the perspective from, not from the guy side per se, but just to shed light that, Yes, I know you're vulnerable too. Yes, I know you're scared too. It's okay. Let's do this thing together. You know, just give me your all. I'll give you mine. We'll be all right. Don't tell yeah. me. I love that. And I was saying before you hopped on, it's perfect for cuffing season. It's like I already got cold now. So everybody wants to be booed up and, you know, wants to have somebody. So the vulnerability is so important. And can well, so I like, I like the meaning behind this. Yes, thank you. No problem. Oh, so I know I know you have a lyric video to it. Do yeah. you are you going to potentially sh um a, a actual video to the song? Yes, I actually I just got done filming a movie for the last three weeks. So now that we wrapped, um, I kept saying last night, but it was actually the day before. Like the days are running into each other. <laughs> um, now the next thing is to shoot a visual for "Don't Tell Me No," which I'm I'm really excited about because I already know how I wanted to look, what I wanted to uh, illustrate. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that is the next thing on the list. Hey, cool. Um, so a lot of people may not know this, but at one point you were in a group called Rich Girl that included Seven Streeter and other notable ladies. So would you ever want to be in a group? Would you see yourself being in a group again? Or that's behind you? No, um, the group, it, it served a wonderful purpose for that season in my life. I learned a lot. Um, it's what helped catapult me to start my own label um, mm -hmm. so that I could be in a position to make a partnership with SRG and Universal. Um, but I think that I have evolved a lot since then vocally and just as an artist. Right. Um, 
but yeah, but it was it was a great time. Those are still my sisters. We we speak every now and again. That's and, beautiful. And yeah, is there any advice that you would give like groups? I I feel like we don't see them as often as we used to. So it can be a difficult task in this industry to stay together as a group. But is there any advice you would give? You said two girl groups or artists. It, the girl. Um, just basically, it starts with the sisterhood. Like with my particular group, we I, I made sure that I picked girls that I knew we all shared the same fabric. That you know, so it, it's important that if you start with the sisterhood and it and it and it stays strong, you can pretty much you know. Um, you can you can get through a lot more, um, and that's where that that was kind of the premise of of the of the group when I started it, which is finding girls that I could really connect with and on a genuine level that I genuinely loved and liked. Right, right. So when you are in the studio and and you know you have that recording process, what is one thing that you have, to have present to help you in your set to just knock it out and just make a killer song? Um. For me, like like physically, like things that I have to have in the studio, mm -hmm. um, my my uh, my diffuser. I oh. need oils. I need yes. I need those essential oils flowing. I need like my candles. It's I, the vibe has to be set. Whether it's the lighting, you know, changing out bulbs to make it. Yes, girls, so you get it. <laughs> it makes all the difference. It's like little simple pleasures in life, but they they really make a difference. But yeah, I'm, I set the mood definitely before um i get creative yes i love that you gotta have it because you want to be comfortable you just do what you do so i feel that 100 percent. so not only are you a singer but you are a talented actress as well for those out there make sure you check out love.com on netflix um but how has balancing all of your talents been during quarantine you know what um I finally just, I found my footing. It took a second to, you know, to get the rhythm down um, because everything just, I felt like it just hit at once and it was a culture shock for everybody. Yes. So we're all in this together. But um, eventually uh, work started to pick up and I have a steady schedule now where it's like, okay, this is the new normal. I've learned to adjust and still thrive during it. Um, right. It wasn't like that in the beginning. Yeah. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> Like, oh, this is crazy. Like, it was funny because, um, I mean, it's related to my next question. You know, I hear a lot of people say that 20 canceled and, you know, like, it's a horrible year. And um, it, it has been devastating in so many ways. But for me, I feel as though my life and my journey is really started. So can you tell me about what moment of 2020 that made you thinking and acting was your true purpose and your passion? Um... Honestly, there is no one particular moment. I just know that I am a people person, and I, I, I know that I know what my purpose is in life, and I've known it for a long time. And it's always been to inspire, which is why I started my fitness business because for me that was my way of being able to physically transform people's lives and give them something um, that that can physically change their life. And and there's so many gifts in health and wellness. Um, but yeah, for me, music does that as well. When people tell me that, that the song has resonated with them or it inspired them to make a particular move or shift in their relationship or life, for me, it's, it's just the greatest reward to hear stuff like that. Yeah, that's cool. And speaking about the fitness, I would ask you, you started quarantine workouts since the pandemic hit. Um, so what keeps you going back to the gym and motivating to get up and work out? Because for me personally, it's sometimes hard, but do it and I do see this in my life but what keeps you going to just stay fit um you know for me it's therapy girl <laughs> I, I need my mental clarity going <laughs> yeah. to the gym it, it's more than just about your physical it's, a, it's more than just aesthetic mm -hmm. right of course it's like people you know you want to look good you want to but for me it's so much deeper than that because it's a time it, it, it's, it's like self-care it's like going to get your nails done going to get your hair done you go you sweat it out you work it out you get your heart pumping you release those endorphins Physical things happen inside the body when you exert energy. We release hormones that are needed to make us feel happy. So if you're just kind of sitting sedentary and you're not really um, moving around a lot, um, you know, it's like you're not giving your body, you know, that opportunity to have that feeling. So mm -hmm. I just get up. I don't feel like it all the time. I be like, Look, I got another hour to sleep. Let me just chill. But it's like, nah, let's get up. Let's get it, you know, get the day going. Um, but I need it. I need it. It's, it's part of my, my everyday ritual. Yeah. And also, you just mentioned that you did 
wrap up a film during this whole quarantine season. So how was that like? Was it, you know, scary when you had to go on set the first time and you have to continue to get these steps over and over again? So how were you able to just deal with this whole transformation of filming? Yeah, filming in quarantine is definitely different now. It, it was the whole, I didn't know what to expect, um, but, you know, getting tested every two days, um, having someone, something as simple as if you're thirsty, you know, you have a designated person to get your water because they didn't want anyone touching your water or touching your food or bringing you your food. It's like you're in different zones. The actors really, um, after a while, when you when you spend that type of time with, with a group of people and you're all essentially kind of quarantining together during right. those eight hours or 12 hours um, and you're taking tests together, you do start to feel a little bit more comfortable, like, okay, we're kind of in a bubble together. Um, but it definitely, it was, it was a different, it was a different tone to right. the movie um, with just the production of it that, you know, I, I didn't know what to expect. And when can we expect to see that? Like this one, I just wrapped um, soon. Okay. <laughs> I can say you can hashtag T. Sorry, my phone is, oh no, I'm not going to die. Oh. Um, you can hashtag TCL and follow me. If you follow me at Be More Brave, as soon as I get word on the network and when it will be released, um, I will definitely post and let you guys know. Okay. That's so exciting. So, um, for all your fans there, um, what do you have coming up next? And one more time, tell us how we can keep up with you, support you, and, you know, just see what you have going on. Yeah, so obviously, Don't Tell Me No is on every streaming platform right now. Spotify, Tidal, um, Apple Music. Please go stream it, vibe with it. Um, let it inspire you. Um, I have a, also another song called Options that is out right now with a music video. That's on Vivo. Um, definitely go check that out. And more movies, touring, um, The you know, just planning for the future and, and what cities we're going to hit. And um, and behind the scenes, I just finished a script, which I'm super excited about. And I'll be um, going into production for that and, and, and casting um, my own movie. So um, that's, you know, something I'm definitely looking forward to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just continuing to build the Brave New World Empire. Yes. Yes, all your board. I know we have some people who may be wondering, will you do cast? Are you going to put up like a notice for that? Will people be able to, you know, audition for that? No, absolutely. Um, I have my eye on a, on a few actors. Mm -hmm. and, um, I'll be going through an agency to to see. Um, but yes, I will. My team will definitely uh, will be putting the word out once when that time hits. Okay, great. All the more reason why you should follow me. So right you out there. <laughs> right. Well, this is beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us. Your beard is beautiful. You're very talented. We're supporting you. 100%. So, thank you so much, sis. Thank you for having me. It's no problem. You take care. You too. Bye bye. Bye.